Kevin. Everybody calls me Kev, but... Nice to meet you, Kevin. Mm -hmm. If you go searching for me at the Ace Hotel, by the way, you won't find me. Place shut down months ago. What? Mm. Huh. You should really get out more. Huh. Copy that. Val, you take care. What up, y'all? This your boy Ace here. And woke up to afternoon's delight. So, we finally get a chance to see how the interaction is between the new love interest for Kevin Atwater here on PD. And this is an interesting, now after, you know, you see it, see how it goes, this is actually going to be pretty interesting. So, the, the episode opens up where, you know, Kevin, he's at a bar where usually cops hang out at. And they were um, donated some money into a hat. And you see this woman. She's sitting over there. And she's looking at water up and down. Like you, 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 can, you can clearly see like she's in the at water. And she finally makes a move. So she's aggressive. And she ends up sitting next to him. And those two start flirting with each other. But. Atwater is very busy. Like he was actually expecting his brother to come. His brother didn't make it. So um he ended up uh going out on the case. And ironically, ironically, she was working this case too, man. And uh, I don't know what her her position is yet, but her name is Val. I don't know what her position is, but um she was working with them on the case, man, and it was kind of crazy, bro. Um, <laughs> it was kind of crazy, bro. And, uh, it, it just was one of those things where, you know, like when I was watching it, I was like, what the hell, bro? Like, it was such a unique dynamic, though. But they did get into a situation. So, Val ended up getting into a situation where I felt like it was one thing I had a problem with with her on here. And it was basically the fact that I felt like, well, me personally, me personally, though, I felt like she messed up. So there was this uh, pay, um, this victim named Diane who had her um, employees killed in this uh, thrift shop, I believe it was. And um, she was like shaking and all this other stuff. She was looking like a real, you know banged up victim here and it's you know usually you know how they, they usually keep the the people that they need information from in the police station because they think that's best instead of going back out on the street and he knew going her going home was going to be pretty bad so they they clashed over that and i agree more with atwater that she shouldn't have left the police station i think that was the worst thing that Val let her do and it he snapped at Val at that point when she did that bro it was I was like man they might not ever get together then like because I'm like it, it was just looking real bad but you you could tell the one thing I'm gonna say is this though you could tell throughout the episode the feelings were strong between these two like it was some definite heightened sexual attention between these two um, you could tell throughout the episode, like it was, it was, it was high. It was a high set of, um, tension between the two. So that was the one thing that I noticed between these two. And I found it pretty hot. I found it pretty hot, man. She was a gorgeous woman. So, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm happy for Atwater. We're going to talk about the kids at the end of the next video, but, um, you could tell it was some energy in there, man. It felt like at first Kevin wasn't too into her. It was like, I don't know if it was because he was like super, super busy, but it just, you know, then it just got to a point where, man, like this was like, this was, this is going to get crazy, man. So we'll see how it goes ultimately, man. But man, this, this is, this is interesting. This is, this, I think out of all the love interests he had, this is the most interesting one he's had so far. Um, let's just hope it sticks though. But go ahead and give me your thoughts on her, man. What y'all think so far? Give this video a like, share, subscribe. We're going to talk about the end of scene next. But thank y'all for watching this one. After news, the like.